Now I'm at step two of making my training program. This is where you're going to enter your, your target goal race distance and the actual length of the training program that you're making. My program is, uh, as I'm doing in this example, going to be an Ironman distance, but you can select half, Olympic, or sprint. Second part of this is selecting the race date or the end date of your training program if you're, you're making a maintenance program. And then also the training period. So in, in this box here, you can if you click on it, you can change the length of the training period, 18 weeks, 17, 16, and as you see, the training start date below changes with the length of the program. So you set your actual race date for a peak performance or the end date for your maintenance plan, and then the number of weeks so that your starting date is when you want to for this training program also. The last part of step two here is selecting the number of workouts a week that you want to do, 8, 11, or 14. Eight workouts a week gives you two swims, two bikes, two runs, and two strength sessions. Uh, 11 workouts a week gives you three swims, three bikes, and three runs, along with the two strength sessions. And 14 workouts a week gives you four swims, four bikes, four runs, and two strength sessions. So I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to select uh, 11 workouts a week here. When you've done that, then click on the next step, and then we'll get some information about your actual fitness.